Hey guys, Ivan here, and I have a lot of interesting news for you today, just as well as yesterday. It's surprising for this part of the year to have so many news, but it is what it is. Let's be happy about it. And let's go with the first one. Phil Heath, sometimes Mr. Olympic champion, and Patrick Moore are training together. Or should I say Patrick Moore is prepping for Arnold Classic with Phil Heath, with the help of Phil Heath, probably just training-wise. Now, why do I think this is not just one time, one training session? Because of the description of this photo right here. So, Patrick posted this photo of himself, a selfie with his arm flexed, and this arm uh, looks absolutely swollen and very conditioned as well. It's a great pump, definitely. And the description was what was interesting here. So, he, he tags Phil Heat and he says, Phil Heat day one. Day one and ellipsis, which means to be continued. Not only one day, but a couple of more days at least, hopefully all the days until Iron Classic. It's interesting, maybe that's gonna be the case, and that would be really good for, for Patrick, of course, and for us fans to watch. I mean, seven times Mr. Olympia champion is basically passing the torch to nobody else but Patrick Moore, who is fan favorite, basically, the most aesthetic guy at the Mr. Olympia stage. He also tags New Blood, which is basically him, referring to himself, The Future, which is his nickname, The Gift, which is Phil Heath's nickname, and Arnold Classic, of course. Down below you can see a hater hating on Patrick Moore, and Patrick really put him down with the comments, and that's probably why he didn't delete the comment yet. Uh, you can check the comments, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. And um, next up we had also a video, a training video that Phil Heath posted in his stories. And that would be, of course, Patrick uh, training his arms with Phil Heath. Phil Heath is known for training alone, for his Mr. Olympia preps. But right now Phil is not prepping, he's just training to, to, to maintain what he has. And what more motivation can Patrick ask for rather than training with Phil Heath, seven times Mr. Olympia champion Phil Heath. That's an amazing thing for, for, for him. And it's amazing that Phil Heath likes him, you know, Phil Heath is very selective about these things. He pretty much doesn't like anybody. The fact that he likes Patrick says something about his personality and also something about his physique, so Phil Heath probably does see some potential in this guy. We know he has a lot of weaknesses, but arms are not one of his weaknesses, that's for sure. He has amazing arms. Is it due to Sintel or side enhancement oil? I don't know, but they look big. They look big and they look defined. So that's all that matters. If it is oil, it is properly done. You cannot even notice it. The muscle quality is there, but you can notice the proportions are a little bit weird. Anyways, the legs need to come up and uh, the overall mass. And if Patrick heard me saying this, he would block me, <laughs> as he says on his social media. But uh, basically, it's really amazing to see Patrick training with Phil Heath. That's amazing. That's a great thing. Hopefully, Patrick will have his breakthrough year this year, 2020, at the Arnold Classic. I believe that's going to happen. I think he's going to take, like, top four, probably. I believe uh, William Bonek, Dexter Jackson, and Big Remy are going to beat him. And I think the best case scenario for him is fourth spot. But is that likely to happen? I'm sure you remember him posting this photo and saying that Arnold would say damn about this photo. And Cedric McMillan replies. <laughs> so, Cedric posted this hilarious photo. Look at his Photoshop. It's amazing. It's himself looking at himself and uh, <laughs> hitting the side chest. I love it. I love it. I need to say thank you to Aaron Singerman for trying to make Cedric more active on social media, on Instagram, because Cedric has an amazing personality. He's such a funny guy, I love his personality, and this is his sense of humor, and I love this photo. But what's even more interesting is the description of the photo. So he tags basically himself, the one, hashtag, Arnold's favorite, hashtag, and he says, now somebody go tell Patrick Moore whose side chest Arnold likes the most. <laughs> And he has a good point there, he has a good point, because you guys know that Arnold is a huge fan of Cedric, he wanted Cedric to win so hard for a couple of years, and eventually when Cedric won, Arnold said, Cedric, finally you did it. <laughs> so Arnold is definitely a huge fan of Cedric's physique, and look at the physique, just look at his side chest. Much, much better than Patrick Moore. Last year, Cedric beat him. But Cedric was way off with a shape. If Cedric repeats that shape again, I don't think judges will reward him. I think they will give the victory to Patrick this time. So it's all about Cedric. He can even win the Mr. Olympia. He can do anything with an amazing shape. 
but that's questionable. He doesn't do that very often. He never really comes in perfect conditioning. He never really brought it to that level that he needs to if he wants to be the best bodybuilder in the world. But just look at his physique right now. It's amazing side chest. Thickness all over the place. Shape, size, proportions. Everything is just spot on. You gotta love this physique. And you gotta love his personalities. Once again, thank you Aaron Singerman for making him more active because we love his personality. Just check his Instagram lately. A couple of posts are hilarious. Unfortunately, as far as we know, Cedric is not doing the Iron Classic. I think if he wanted to do it, I think he has enough time to get in shape and to win the damn thing. Even beat Big Ramy, if he brings the shape, of course. But, you know, he never brings it, so let's not even count on that. Let's go with the next news. Well, okay, it's not much of a news, but it's definitely an interesting photo to see. Sons of the OGs, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Sergio Oliva are taking a photo together and they're probably training together at the Gold Gym. So it's very interesting to see these guys together, but of course, um, Sergio is an IBB pro, he's an Olympian, and uh, Joseph Benya, Arnold's uh, son, is not really serious about his stuff. I know, he's Arnold's son and he's actually training, and he actually says that he plans on competing in classic physique, but he definitely doesn't have the drive that his father had. And what better motivation can you have than uh, your father being Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I mean, guys, imagine, I mean, all of you are bodybuilding fans. And I'm sure all of you are training and most of you are aspiring to become bodybuilders, professional bodybuilders. Imagine if your father was Arnold. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the ultimate motivation? And this guy isn't taking it seriously. Ob obviously, and apparently, does Joseph Benya has the same uh, potential that Arnold has? Probably not. Probably not. You can see the shape of his muscles, but it's actually questionable how hard is he actually training right now. So if he's just fooling around, uh, as it seems, you know, hanging out with friends in the gym and never taking seriously the diet or the supplements or anything, and he looks like this, then yeah, he has pretty good genetics, but it really seems that he's not serious about bodybuilding. I don't think he aspires to become one of the greats. And as far as his genetics, I don't think he's that genetically blessed. He could be though, if he's uh, just fooling around as it seems, and if he actually took things seriously, maybe he could look just like Arnold or even better, but I don't think that's the case. Not with genetics, not with the mindset, unfortunately. But it's definitely an interesting thing to see. Arnold's son and Sergio Oliva's son taking a photo together at the Mac of bodybuilding, Gold's Venice. And I also gotta say, Sergio has a really strong out-angling game. Unlike Joseph Benya, he needs to learn how to outangle people and never let other people outangle him. Arnold, Arnold is much better than that. He would never allow something like this to happen. But surely Sergio Oliva Jr. is just much bigger and much better bodybuilder than him. Let's not even joke about it. But he is outangling game strong. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. So I'm sure all of you guys know that there was a LA Fit Expo and there was a lot of top guys right there. But I found this photo especially, particularly interesting. And it is obviously a photo of Dexter, who's not really relevant here, but Brandon Curry, the current Mr. Olympia champion, and Flex Lewis, seven-time 212 champion. And these guys are gonna collide at the Mr. Olympia stage this year, at 2020 Mr. Olympia. As you know, Flex uh, actually retired from 212. He took a year off and he's planning on doing the Open. Uh, is he gonna have to qualify by winning a show? I don't think so. I think he will get a special invite being seven time Mr. Olympia champion in 212, which is also bodybuilding but shorter. Although he doesn't look that much shorter than Brandon. I mean, sure, he's out angling him pretty good. And uh, Brandon is that kind of a guy. He's very confident. He doesn't care about out angling people. He knows he's a champ. He doesn't care about it. And uh, you can see that the uh, Flex's arm is out angling everybody here. It looks huge and he doesn't look shorter than, than these two guys, than Dexter or Brandon. Is that really the case or is it just uh, the angle? I'm not sure, but it's obvious that the size difference is not that big. So I'm sure that you're gonna see much bigger version of Flex Lewis at the open stage and it's going to be a, a version that's gonna challenge these big guys, the top guys. I think uh, if the, the lineup stays the same, I think Flex has a pretty good chance to crack the top 3, top 4, at least top 6, top 5. But as for now, you can see that the size difference is not that big or the height difference. And actually, I mean, Flex looks, Flex looks bigger here, but it's probably just the angle. You tell me what you think. 
another photo of the same LA Fit Expo with Flex Lewis, so you can see Stanimal, Dexter, Brandon, Flex, Raphael, Brando and Ian Valier. Ian Valier outangled everybody, he looks like a freaking Hulk right here, and he is huge, he's definitely huge, he's about 300 pounds right now, but again you can see that Flex Lewis uh, looks bigger than Brandon, of course he's got the angle on him, Brandon doesn't even try, it's barely his head that we can see here, but, you know, we're gonna see what it looks like on stage, that's what matters, this is just photos, it don't really matter that much. Okay, so we have a photo of William Bonek as well. Now, this is just a relaxed photo, he's just sitting there, and it doesn't have to mean anything, but he looks much smaller. Sure, his hair is covering his biceps, which creates an illusion of him even being smaller, but what I think is actually happening is that he's over dieting. I mean, this was him at 7 weeks out of uh, Arnold Classic. What else does he need to do right here? He, he's ready. He's ready for the show. He doesn't train with uh, Neil Hill anymore, and I'm sure Neil would know, to let him know that he's started his prep way too early, that he's basically already ready, but now he's doing his preps without his coach, who is one of the best coaches in the world, and he is the best for a reason. One of the best, of course. Neil Hill. Yoda. It's not just a coincidence. Yeah, Monarch said a lot of bad things about him, but I'm sure he actually knows very well what he's doing. He has a good eye. That's the most important thing. You know what I mean. He looks at him and he tells him how much calories should he drop, should he continue doing more cardio or the same cardio or no cardio or whatever he's doing. And that's just what coach does, basically. He won't really give you a lot of knowledge. If you are on this level, of course. These pros, they already know their, 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 their craft. The coaches are basically there just to help them and not to be nasty about their bodies. Because sometimes they, they, these guys go crazy and they want the best conditioning and sometimes they, they ruin everything because of that, because of the bad mindset. And uh, Bonak doesn't have the coach anymore. He has a friend, somebody else, but not uh, one of the best coaches, Neil Hill. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why William Bonak was smaller than Mr. Olympia than he was at the Arnold Classic. I think he overdieted without Neil Hill. He didn't really know how much can he pace himself. So once again, I think it's gonna be again the case. I don't think we're gonna see the biggest, the fullest William Bonak, but I'm sure he'll be conditioned and with everything that he has, it's gonna be probably enough to be at least top two, possibly potentially winning the Arnold Classic once again. He's already a champion and uh, I'm sure he has a, probably the biggest chance to win it again. He won it in 2018 and I think again he has the biggest chance. Big Grammy is the man to beat pretty much, but Big Grammy often comes in horrible shape. If I was a betting man, I would bet on Bonek because he's the most consistent out of all the bodybuilders on that lineup. And finally, for the end of this video, we have an amazing footage of Steve Lorius posing at about six weeks out of Arnold Classic. So he's doing Arnold Classic as well, and he improved a lot. Look at the thickness of the back that he gained. Look at the size of the arms, the chest, the, the back especially, but also the legs and everything. He just gained a lot of muscle. I think he was uh, a little bit under the weight cap last year, and I think he is going to be right up there. He looks like a bodybuilder, basically, but with an amazing structure, with tiny, tiny, tight waist, big arms, insane weight taper, great vacuum and everything. He's just spot on. He's just spot on. I think this guy has a really good chance to win the Arnold Classic this time around. Last year he didn't win it, but I thought he deserved this victory. And if the judging criteria was the same as it was at the Mr. Olympia this year, he would have won it. Uh, George Peterson wouldn't win the Arnold Classic because uh, the, the, the same reason why Brian Ainsley didn't win the Mr. Olympia. The, the, the judging criteria is different right now. They are looking for the Classic Alliance. And this guy has them all day. He has them all day long. Look at his physique. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Unarguably one of the best classic physiques of today. He reminds me a little bit of Lee Haney right here. Don't you think so? And look at the vacuum. Look at it from the sides. Look at the back, the arms, everything. Really, really good. I said Terrence Ruffin might win it, but I think this guy is going to win it. And Terrence is probably going to be in the top two. They, those guys have actually pretty similar physiques. Only this guy is taller. Steve is taller. And I prefer his physique because of the arms, because of the lats. But what do you guys think? I think this guy is a huge potential to even become the Mr. Olympia champion someday, if not this year. And uh, this is me. This is me. It's pretty embarrassing to show my physique after all these pros. But I'm training for Serbian Nationals 2020. The competition is April 18th and I'm actually kind of 
documenting my prep, my transformation. You're going to see what I'm going to create in the end, guys. And if you want to follow me, if you want to check the rest of my physique, you can go to my Instagram account, just type even bodybuilding underscore. And that's pretty much it. You can find me right there. You can tell me what you think about my physique, uh, what you think my weaknesses are. I'm not going to block you if you tell me that. I don't mind. As you can see right there in the comment section, that guy was pretty polite when he said Mr. Olympia 2020. Hopefully he wasn't sarcastic, hopefully he actually believed that, but it's not gonna happen for sure, not in 2020, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to eventually show up at the Mr. Olympia, I mean, that's the goal. Turning pro, it's gonna take a couple of years, I would say at least three more years to turn pro and then some to actually win a pro show and uh, qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Uh, that's the dream, that's the goal, but I believe in it, I believe it's gonna happen, but if you guys wanna follow my prep, I'm gonna make videos, I'm gonna make a video for this channel about my prep, when I get my body fat percent a little bit more down, this is only three months out, so I'm still, still pretty fat, pretty watery, uh, I need to trim a lot of that, uh, and then when I'm, when I'm lean, I'm gonna make a video, and I'm gonna show you guys what I eat, what I do, how I train, how I pose, and everything, but if you want to learn more about me, you can go to my Instagram account and you can check what I have over there. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below whatever you have on your mind and go. Go to my Instagram account and start following me right away. Thank you once again. Like the video. If you enjoyed it, then subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.